My name is Ark Nows. I'm a painter. We have Rachel Offner Gallery for my solo show. My heart is like paper, let the old ways die. My dad sort of threw my name together. Um, so he's from St. Thomas, and oro in Spanish means gold, and so he just, arc man of gold is kind of what he always told me. I went to Duke Ellington School of the Arts in Washington, D.C., where I grew up. I would wake up, have like a sketchbook, and I like have some image I wanted to draw. And I would like go into like the closet or wherever, just like some space that was just mine. And I would like draw, and like I'll come out, and it would be like dinner time. It was like magic. And then so after high school, I went to Pennsylvania Academy. My grandparents had passed away, and I had these photos of them. I wanted to depict these people in my life a certain way, and so I was like, okay, I have to do these things to learn how to represent my friends and my family in a certain light. There was a teacher I had, Vincent Desidero, he would talk about Delacroix and then Caravaggio. He talked about Caravaggio being form and light, and then Delacroix being uh, more of a colorist, and how you couldn't really have both. And so I always was like thinking about those two artists and like thinking about, huh, how can I have bright colors and like strong shadows? A lot of the show was me thinking about different ways people sort of dealt with any type of heartbreak that sort of can stay with the person and like affect their relationships with other people over time. Yeah, all the paintings are friends and family, people that I know, and I'm just either like going through old photo albums or I'm just asking my mom to always like kind of, I have like an idea from a painting and I'll ask her to come over and pose for me. And I take photographs of them and then I collage them together in Photoshop and then I start painting. I guess since I can remember when I started painting people, I was really always interested in the skin tones and just like really looking at like dark flesh and like the colors that were in there. I was really dissatisfied with how it wasn't really getting like purples and the deep reds and like all the golden tones that I saw in like my skin or like my friends or my mom's. And so I started using really bright grounds and just painting with highly saturated colors like reds and like cadmium yellows and like layering them to pull out all the color. When I first started painting this way, my plan was to like go back and glaze it with brown. But somehow I was like, okay, it kind of looks good like this. I figured I should just really work with these bright colors that I like really love and like try to see how close I can get it and like rendering it to make it look like the flesh. So in like a lot of my paintings too, I also want to have the women be strong and like the men be vulnerable. So like the men are usually almost naked while the women are like clothed and engaging with the viewer. All the colors I use and like all the like little decisions of like how to paint transparently or like opaquely was really to help shape like how I wanted the skin to look. It gives it like this glow. So I've always used the orange ground in the, these new paintings. I've just started using like a blue till sort of like give a different feeling, you know? And I was also really interested in using the same colors on a different ground and seeing like how they influence each other. This painting, the title is, Does a Broken Home Become a Broken Family? And I was thinking about like situations where, you know, you don't grow up together and like what that can kind of do, with the, do to the family. When I first introduced these seekers into my paintings, it really was based off this uh, Egyptian fertility sculpture that I saw at the Brooklyn Museum. And then I eventually started getting like slowly away from it and then started making my own characters. I have two different types of seekers. There's one that's more of a line drawing, is red. And that one's like a little more sexual. And then I have this other little character and he's a little more destructive or self-destructive. And so I wanted to like give like a physical form to these presents that I felt were like always around influencing me. A lot of the paintings I work on is me thinking about how the spaces and the environment influence the people. Like everything that sort of goes on in a bedroom. So I have like one secret down at the bottom 
a little more aggressive. And then also thinking about sex and other things that happen in the bedroom. Like I was looking at the show, there's like a few moments of drinking. And so I was thinking about how people sort of cope with whatever they're dealing with and like alcohol can be one. And so I was thinking about self-harm. Sort of like I said, let the old ways die, trying to figure out how to stop doing these things. When I'm working on paintings, I work on at least in my studio, I have like four going and I bounce around from like each one. Each sort of step kind of takes a minute. So I'll do the ground. Then I'll do the ground on one day on one canvas and another day on another canvas. And then I'll do like the drawing and then like go around. And so I'm working on like four at once. And usually as like I finish one, um, then I'll sort of like get an idea for another one. So a lot of the paintings are from old family photos or like people that pose. This one in particular is an old birthday party of me as a kid. And so I was just thinking about celebrations. Like sometimes these things creep in at an early age, even like when you're not necessarily, like the kid isn't necessarily thinking about it. Say if the parents are worried about it, or even in a positive way. Say, for example, if a guy looks good, he's always oh, gonna be like a lady killer. Those things sort of like still creep into like a kid's life. With my paintings, I try to like be as like as honest as I can about the situation or like the image and like how I was feeling. I feel like there are things that everyone sort of feels. So even though you don't look like me, so a lot of them are just stories that I think everyone can kind of relate to. You come up to it, you look at it, and you have things that you've been through. And so you sort of like see a little bit of that there.